Yeah. Just taking care of the last couple of little doodads for my, uh, to get my awesome little yard tractor ready to roll. Um, the tractor is actually ready. I uh, did, did an oil change. I had to replace a, the uh, starter relay. Pulled the blades and uh, sharpened them on my crappy little bench grinder. <laughs> um, inflated the tires. Uh, added some gas because gas was really old and very low. Uh, put new oil in. Man, the old stuff smelled like gasoline and it was as thin as water. It was, <laughs> I don't know how it was running on it, but it seems to run very well. Uh, it will power through things that my lawn, my hand lawnmower can't even touch. Um, and it, uh, man, having 15, 15 and a half horsepower handy, uh, <laughs> it is it is absolutely awesome and for every I mean this thing cuts there are two blades and it cuts about twice the uh, twice the um, <laughs> width of a of a swath every single time I move forward so it's like it not only moves faster than I do on the hand lawnmower <laughs> but it also can handle heavier stuff and power through things that my hand lawnmower <laughs> can't do and it also uh um i mean <laughs> it's it's just awesome let me put it that way um the little starter solenoid was right there behind that little panel and i had one in my junk box probably left over from cummins and uh and it uh it's working like a charm. <laughs> probably its old, its previous home was probably on a on an old truck, <laughs> eighteen wheeler. You know, fun stuff. Yeah, and this so basically this thing was not working, and we were all standing in the rain <laughs> while I was dinking around with it, and uh, the owner said, uh, "Oh, how about if you just take it for a <laughs> hundred? I said, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> deal <laughs> I, he was originally going to charge 300 for it but uh apparently the rain uh convinced him as he as it was running down his face <laughs> to uh to basically uh give me a good deal and the trailer was 125 so 225 dollars for an awesome little trailer and a dump i mean a tractor and a dump trailer it's got this little doodad down here and then you can drop the thing like so and uh, it also has a tailgate that you can open out and uh, and then just rake it all out and then or you could pull forward and it would pretty much come rolling out in that way good way to spread soil or compost or something like that Man, I can't wait to use this thing this year. <laughs> ah, good times. You tell you what, if you want to buy a lawn tractor cheap, do it in November. <laughs> and buy a broken one. <laughs> ah, good times. Now what I want to do is, uh, I want to get a uh, set of farmer's coveralls. <laughs> you know, like bib overalls and... Uh, a big straw hat <laughs> so I can really get into the uh, into the tractor motif <laughs> and sort of fully enjoy the ambiance of the situation <laughs> a big raggedy straw hat and a uh, pair of bib overalls oh and some shit kickers see like that's what they call those big ass cowboy boots ah <laughs> uh, yes <laughs> well I I'm going to fire this puppy up. In fact, I think I'll do it right now. And this is a cold start. The, uh, the air is cold enough to smoke. And don't worry, I know my pump is still hooked up to the tire. You don't have to shout a warning over the video. <laughs> but uh, run this puppy up to choke. Yeah. Push the brake down. Pull the lock up. Boop. And then hold the little safety down because the spring's broken. I gotta take care of that. 
And here we go. Cold start. Absolutely cold on a cold ass day, and it fires right up. <laughs> How's that for a deal? <laughs> Good time. Good times. Yeah, that's about two wheelbarrow loads full. And um, instead of breathing hard and heavy by the time I get up to the wood pile, I can just zip right up there using fossil fuels. <laughs> hey, as long as they're here, we might as well use them. that was fun. Um, the tractor performed very well. I was pretty impressed. Um, it really chews up that ivy. I mean, and if once I put my, my, it's a fairly nice little mower. I mean, once I sort of put it up on its hind, I mean, lift the front of it up and then drop it onto that ivy, it almost, it almost instantly kills the engine. It just dies. <laughs> The uh, that's a fairly good lawn mower, uh, my regular push mower, but it is not ivy material. <laughs> so um, so basically, I but that yard tractor, man, I put that thing in that in that ivy and it just tore it up. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with it. <laughs> There's one problem with the with the tractor, and that's a hard starting situation when it's hot. And when that happens, um, I basically have been uh, just letting it cool down and then start it. Like, 
like just now. So uh, I'll probably be replacing a few ignition components, maybe the coil. Sometimes when a coil, an ignition coil gets hot, it um, it stops working <laughs> if it's bad, semi bad. So basically, uh, now we I want to get into the reason why I um, pay, went through the trouble of uh, of shopping for and finding the broken tractor and then hauling the broken tractor home and uh, and then fixing the broken tractor with parts that I had on hand and um, except for the battery which I had to go buy but um, why did I do that you know I mean I have a blue collar job that's fairly good and I could have afforded a new lawn tractor and I was looking at those lawn tractors last year, I mean last summer, and man, I wanted one of those tractors. I, ooh, I wanted one. <laughs> but I know, and I've known for the last, the last probably six years or so, that the economy is just on a gradual down slope to... Um, to a reset of some kind. Um, the economic system in the U.S. has pretty much failed like several times, you know, like when Nixon closed the gold window and said, nope, uh, gold, uh, currency is no longer exchangeable with gold. <laughs> and uh, and then, of course, the uh, Great Depression and uh, and the New Deal and uh, and then a couple of different Federal Reserve style banks um, and basically, it's just happening again, you know. Uh, every few decades, uh, the economy just has to have a reset, right? And uh, so what's been happening lately, and you guys are aware of this, is uh, the first the elites, they ship all the jobs overseas, and then what's left, people bid lower and lower and lower in wages, and um, if somebody's... if if an employer can get a, a job filled, you know, and uh, with anybody um, that if if they can get the job done with lower wages, then they will because uh, people will bid those jobs down. And luckily, my job is sort of highly technical and very physical, and um, there's not as many people who can do that. I mean. There's people who can do the physical side, uh, and there are people who can do the intellectual side, you know, knowing how the machines go together. But as far as the people who are able to do both, you know, um, they're not as common. So the result is I still have something resembling a living wage. But my wages have been going, effectively going down, like everybody else's. Um, for like many years now uh, uh, so the result is you just you just have to throttle back um, and that's the only reason why I paid off my credit cards is because I I just I stopped buying as much new shit and do and I started doing things I mean I've been constantly doing things to save money and that's just the only thing you can do to maintain your standard of living because it is going down <laughs> our standard of living is dropping and you have to do things outside of the economy to make up for it like for example and it's kind of too bad for the state of Washington and other people in Washington that that I just bought the broken tractor and fixed it right instead of purchasing a new tractor because I mean if I bought that $1,100 tractor uh, Washington charges about a 10% sale, sales tax 9.7 or something like that at least we don't charge in, at least they don't have an income tax that's something but uh, if I had bought that tractor um, I would have paid about a hundred and a hundred and five dollars in sales tax right then they could have paid their overpaid employees, right? <laughs> and then they, um, 
then they could have, uh, those employees uh, would have had the money, and then they would have paid more gas tax, and, and they would have um, basically uh, gone to the convenience store and bought a, a couple of six-packs or something on the way home from work, and or a stop by one of the... Uh, risque latte stands, you know the best ones, the ones that have been busted several times by the cops. <laughs> anyway, um, they would have stopped by and they would have thrown a tip in the jar and uh, with that money. But as it is, um, since I didn't pay that money, uh, that didn't happen. You know, uh, every time a dollar changes hands, like I buy something, the, the state makes sales tax out of it, and then the federal government yanks their income tax out of it, right? Then that next person spends that same dollar, uh, and then, again, sales tax comes out of it, and, uh, and uh, income tax comes out of it, right? And then B&O tax, and cell phone tax, and tax, 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 <laughs> and taxes from 1935 that we're still paying, that are still on the books, and like a lot of the telephone taxes. And um, But anyway, if you're sick of that shit like I am, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I can feel I'm just freaking ugh, sick of that shit. So... The result is I did not spend that money. I mean, I could have spent the money and bought the new lawn tractor, but I didn't. And the and then I bought a used one for a hundred bucks and fixed it. And I guess I'm not really a protest kind of guy running around with a sign or something. But if I do not spend my money, you know, and if I do money do things like. Uh, save my money as hard, as much as I can, and then send it off to the mortgage and not pay off debt with it. Uh, that basically eliminates that debt. Um, that And the money, it just sort of falls into a black hole um, if you use it to pay off debt. Because a lot of the times banks, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why... Uh, why uh, the banks are such a powerful institution. They don't really... Banks can actually create money out of nothing uh, just as much as the government does. And they do it by just typing numbers into a computer and then issuing a loan with it. Um, and the money didn't even exist before the loan existed. And it's bizarre, man. It is really bizarre. If you look into it, it's like... It, smoke will just come out of your ears because it's hard to understand. <laughs> but that's how, that's why all of these giant skyscrapers downtown are almost all bank-owned buildings, you know, bank. And and then when, of course, the economy starts going down a little bit or down, uh, people start falling out of the economy, and then they come in and confiscate a lot of the property and uh, collateral, you know, that, that was once the belonged to the people, right? So if you're sick of that, <laughs> like I am, um, just pay your debts off and crank your spending down to friggin' zero, man. Buy, eat a lot of rice, <laughs> uh, eat very healthy, you know, a lot of greens. And I've been getting into kale lately. Um, believe it or not, I've been, I've been making kale popsicles. It's it's this whole big thing. <laughs> um, but anyway, just crank that money down to zero and then uh, and make whatever you can uh, and create value for yourself outside of the economy. Um, and that, that's a real serious protest. And every time you like grow a garden and create value for yourself, like uh, the acorn squash that I ate the other day. <laughs> um, nobody got any tax money from that. Uh, the IRS didn't charge anybody any income tax for the creation of that squash, and I basically got the value of that squash. So basically, if you can create things for yourself outside of the economy or fix things, 
um, reuse things, uh, make things last longer, man, that is that is an awesome way to protest this twisted up, stupid ass economy that we've got going. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit all this together, and I got these trailer things, <laughs> tractor things. Uh, I think I'll just call this something like uh, um, lawn tractor and economic protest <laughs> or something. <laughs> so see ya.